Hello! Previously, we talked about how to sign up to Kobo Toolbox and what are the types of questions in Kobo Toolbox. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to build a new project or create a form. As for example, I have a questionnaire, the Online Learning Experience Questionnaire. It is composed of two sections. Section 1, to know information about participants like age, years of post-secondary schooling, major, university, and university address. All the questions of this section are of different types. Age is number or integer. Years of post-secondary schooling is a select one type of question where participants can choose one answer among the list. Major and university are text. University address is a point type of question where participants can point the address on a map. For section two, we need to know the learning experience. Several questions are asked. What device do you use for distance learning? This is a select many type of question where participants can give multiple answers. Distance learning during the COVID-19 pandemic was stressful. Either yes or no, this is a select one type of question. If they choose yes, they need to tell us how within a paragraph. Can you describe helpful experiences you have had with remote learning? Also, a select one type of question with options either yes or no. If they choose yes, tell us in what course and what was the activity. Here, participants can repeat the question, course name and activity several times to give several answers. Now let's go to Kobo Toolbox to see how we can build this form. First, we click the new button. A window will appear with four options, built from scratch, use a template, upload an XLS form, import an XLS form via URL. Now, since we're building the projects from scratch, I'll choose the first option. I'll write the project name online. Learning experience. It is always advisable to write a short description to let participants know what the survey is about. This survey aims to know students' online learning experience during COVID-19 pandemic, sector educational, country, Lebanon. To help Kobo Toolbox improve this product, click a checkbox. But since this is not an active questionnaire, I'll skip the checkbox and click on Create Project. A message will appear, this form is currently empty. You can add questions, notes, prompts, or other fields by clicking on the plus sign below. We'll start adding questions by clicking the plus sign. The first field is age. Click the add question and choose number. Second question or field is years of post-secondary schooling. Add question. This is a select one type of question. I'll give the options. One for the first year, two for the second year, three for the third year. Now I'm clicking the plus to add more options. And four, or more is the last option. If by mistake I click the plus button, I can click on the delete icon here to delete the option. I will minimize the question and add another one. Major 
add question. This is the text. Add university. Add question. This is a text. As you can see under university, under each question, there is a question hint. Here I can give additional information for participants. Give the university name plus university address add question point. These are the questions for section one. I can group them together. To do so, first I select the first question, click control on my keyboard, select the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Once all are selected, I will click the create a group with selected questions. A group is created, I will name it information about you. Note that you can change the order of the questions as for example, I want major to be below age. I click on major and drag it to be below the age. Now, if I go to the left corner here, I can find two pluses. The first plus is to add a question within the group information about you. Note, this is a new question. Hobbies, add question, and I want a text. If I want to delete this question, I click the delete icon here and click on OK for confirmation. The other plus that is outside the group is to add outside questions. Click what device do you use during distance learning? Add question. This is a select many type of question. Option one, desktop, laptop, mobile phone, and tablet. Minimize it. Another question, distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic was stressful. Add question, select one. First option is yes. Second option is no. Add another question. This question is related to the above one, which is, if yes, how, add question, this is a text, add question, can you describe helpful experiences? you have had during remote learning, click add, select one, yes, no. Now, if they choose yes, I need them to tell me about the course name and the activity. So, I will add a note. If yes, tell us in 
what course and what was the activity add question this is the note and now I want them to reply with the course name and the activity so I will add a question course name add text add an answer question activity add question text course name and activity are related so I will group them together click course name control click activity and choose create group with selected question now this group I want to name it course name and activity course name and activity group is a part of a bigger group which is section 2 of the form so I'll minimize it minimize all the questions and click on the first question control second question third fourth fifth and course name and activity group and go to the group icon create a group with selected questions and click on it I'll name the group section 2 learning experience and as you can see this is a group inside it there is another group which is course name and act I can make the questions mandatory this is done by clicking on the settings here and choosing mandatory response yes I can also apply a certain criteria as for example I want all participants between age above 12 and less than 50 to answer this questionnaire so I go and click on settings and choose validation criteria for age and then click on add a condition this question response has to be greater than 12 we're talking about age click add another condition this question response has to be also less than 50. if the field input does not meet both criteria an error message out of range will appear to the participant close what can I do also I can change the layout for if yes how to multi line by clicking on settings and going to the appearance field and select multi-line so to allow the participant to write a paragraph with several lines this question also if yes how is filled only when the participant choose yes for the question that is above to skip it if the answer was no I go and choose skip logic Add condition if distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic was stressful the answer is yes the if yes how will be displayed close I will do the same thing for if yes tell us in what course and what was the activity this question which is the note can be displayed if and only if the participant choose yes for K 
Can you describe helpful experiences you have had during remote learning? To do so, I'll go and click settings and choose skip logic, add condition, select question from list. The question is, can you describe helpful experiences you have had during remote learning? If it's equal to yes, then the note will be displayed. Close. Same for the group, course name and activity. This group will be displayed only and if only, can you describe helpful experiences you have had during remote learning is equal to yes. So I'll click the settings of the group and choose skip logic, add condition, select question from list. Can you describe helpful experiences equal yes. I want also this group to be repeated several times. So to allow the participant to write several answers, to do so, I'll go and click all group settings and choose repeat this group if necessary. I'll click the checkbox. Close. I want to show you one more thing before previewing the form is I can go instead of writing a hint below in the question hint, I can go for example here and click on settings and write a guidance hint. The GPS location. Close. Now to see the difference, I'll preview the form. First for H, if I write 10, an error message will appear out of range. Same if I write, for example, 55. But if I write 22, it meets the criteria, so I can continue. Major English, years of post secondary schooling, the second year. University, now the question hint is seen below. Lebanese University. As for university address, the guidance hint shows me an arrow with more details. I click the arrow to see the hint that I need. I search for the location, Lebanese University, enter, and I'll choose this one. For section two, laptop, for example, mobile phone. Regarding the question, distance learning during COVID-19 pandemic was stressful. If I choose no, nothing will appear. But if I choose yes, the multi-line box will appear with if yes, how. Same as, can you describe helpful experiences you have had during remote learning? If I choose no, nothing will appear. If I choose yes, the note, if yes, tell us in what course and what was the activity, as the group will be displayed. Course name, for example, technology, activity, mind map. If I want to add another answer, I click the plus sign course name, English, activity, recording, an interview. And if I want to delete an answer, I click the minus. A message for confirmation, I click confirm, and the answer is deleted. This is my form. Validate 
a message will appear to tell me that the form is valid. Now, I click close. Once the form is ready, I can go and collect data. To collect data, I need first to save the form, then go to Project, click on Drafts, choose Online Learning Experience, and click Deploy. A message with Deployed form will appear. I can collect data with different ways, online offline with multiple submissions, online only with multiple submissions, online only with single submission, online only once per respondent, embedded or view only, participants cannot submit their data, Android application, to be just used on Android device. Now for me, I prefer to choose online, offline, multiple submission, so that those who have problem with internet connection can submit the form and once they have internet, the answers will be uploaded. To be able to send the link for participants, I can click on copy and then send the link, click paste. And participants can fill the form, for example, any major English. Third year university, Lebanese university, address, choose this address, for example, uh, section news mobile phone. No, yes, course name, research, methodology, collaboration, and breakout rooms. Okay, then I will click on submit. Okay. After collecting several submissions to be able to see the data and the reports, I go to the Kobo Toolbox homepage and in the deployed section, I can search for the online learning experience questionnaire. Once clicked, a new page will open with four tabs, summary, form, data, settings. The summary tab gives you a visual display of all information as, for example, project information like uh, country, sector, description, submissions in dates. From July 9 to July 15, I have three submissions and I can see how the submissions were distributed each date. And form details last modified, latest submission, and number of questions. For the form tab, here I can edit the form by clicking Edit in Form Builder. And if I edit the form, I can click Save. A message will appear, successfully updated, and now, I can go and click the questionnaire and go to forms and redeploy the saved form. I can re-choose how I want to collect data and note if I want to collect data via 
Android application, I can see how to do it. Install Kobo Collect on your Android device. Click on to open settings. Enter the server slash your username and then username and password. Open the get blank form and open enter data. Now, for the data tab, first I can see table where table gives me results in a table display the start date of collection the end date information inputs in a display table reports here i can view a full report about data collection, mean of age, median, standard deviation, major, years of post-secondary schooling, university, device used, distance learning, etc. And one thing to be mentioned is that you can create your own custom report. And this by clicking the arrow next to the custom reports and choosing create a new report and specifying the uh, fields that you want to include in your report as for example, age, major, and device used. I click save. And now I have a custom report that includes only the fields specified, age, major, and device used. I can configure the report style and choose the layout of chart types as for example, horizontal, click save, and now I can see the layout as horizontal. I can also change colors. Now for group by, you can group charts by different categorical variables, as for example, years of post-secondary schooling and save. As you can see, major here is grouped according to years post-secondary schooling. So as device used is grouped, by years for secondary schooling, one, three, four, or more, etc. Gallery will show you uploaded images. If the questionnaire contains any uh, images uh, that you ask participants to upload, and you can specify between which date and date. As for downloads, here you can export the report via XLS4 or CSV or for SPSS labels, GPS coordinates, etc. And once you click export, you'll obtain the message processing. And once the file is ready, you can click on download. I will open the file. Now the data is displayed in an Excel file. I can see the start date, the end date, the age, major, years, university, university address coordinates. and also device used. And all the other fields. And how it was submitted. Now regarding settings, here I can change the settings of the form like project name, description, sector, country, and I can click on Help Kobo Toolbox Improve This Product. 
I can archive the project or delete the project and data. And once I've done all the changes, I can click Save Changes. Hope that this tutorial was useful. Thank you for watching.